are grateful to be gathered here together again. To know that you have brought us safely through the week just past. To know that our future is in your hands. We praise you, Lord, for your constant care and provision for us. We celebrate this morning Lord Ray's birthday. We thank you for the many gifts that you have given him and that he in turn gives to our church. We ask that you would bless him in the year ahead with good health and many happy times. We thank you, Lord, that Gertrude is able to be back among us. We pray that you will continue to strengthen her and give her more health and more energy. We thank you, Lord, for John's daughter who graduated from college. We know, Lord, that it's an accomplishment for her and for her family. Just celebrate her accomplishments, Lord. We thank you for them. Lord, we also remember those who have suffered those whose hearts are heavy, those who face challenges in their lives right now. Lord, we thank you that when Dan's son's home was struck by lightning, then, that it was only damage to the house and to the electrical system. We thank you that you kept all of them safe and that you've been with them through the, the process of getting things made right. Lord, we remember all those who have suffered so tragically in these tornadoes and the floods the weather gone wild. Lord, we thank you for the acts of kindness and community that have come out of these times. We pray, Lord, that you would continue to guide and comfort. Lord, we lift up Robin Wingle as she has her surgery this week. We ask, Lord, that you would be present with her doctors and the other medical staff, that you would strengthen her body, bring healing, Lord, I would ask that through this experience she would have a, a fresh understanding of who you are as her creator and as her healer. That through this she might come to a knowledge of you. Lord, we thank you that you have been with Robert in this week. Lord, you know his needs, you know his joys, and we just thank you that we can entrust him to your hands. Now, Lord, we lift up our church as we look to the future. We know, Lord, that the plans you have for us are plans to bless us and to prosper us. Help us, Lord, when we become impatient or uncertain, to continually trust in you, to trust in your faithfulness. Be with all those who are making decisions right now in the bishop and the cabinet, the pastors. May your Holy Spirit guide and direct them into the ways that you would have them to lead us. Lord, we ask for the grace to follow. Lord, you've been so good to us. We lift up your name in praise and worship. And we join together now in the prayer that you taught your disciples to say. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. 